Okay, part two. I guess this phone just decided to say, I'm full. <laughs> so, I said the tank was in here, and I took it out, and I moved it up here on the fender. Reason being is it wouldn't fit under the seat anymore, because I cut the cut the leaf spring right in here and re-welded it. I'm going to show you, get down in here, down in here, it's a big uh, leafy leaf spring, big bent one. Makes me think of a cultivator, cultivator spring, chisel plow spring. Uh, oh, whoa, well, I almost, I almost missed a basket here. I just put this on the back here. I got this in a pile of steel at an auction, so I wanted a basket. And I took a made wheelie bar. I made it adjustable. I'll show you that in a second. Ah, uh, rebar wasn't my first choice for this telescope but I can go way up way up like so and down I'm gonna leave it pretty far up because this this will catch in the snow you got me stuck once I put the chains on the other day I got a magnet on the back of the fuel tank big old generator magnet to keep the rust back there out of the way and here you can see see the solenoid fuel pump and here's the tank for for the injection um, it didn't work out really hot because of because of uh, not being regulated enough so 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 I don't use it anymore oh I ought to show you here's the activation switch right here on the on the stick shift if you hold this down it doesn't inject if you let it go it injects which is exactly backwards of what I wanted so I just pulled the wire off of that and pulled the hose up so it doesn't suck in any any uh, wipe washer fluid so so now you're wondering why I'm Taking the motor out. Well, if you were here, you could probably smell it. The starter up and died. Not surprising. Um, it really, really turned hard. So, and it didn't start that easy either. It really starts hard. So, I got a 12 horse Kohler Magnum here. And I guess I'll be putting it on there. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna run it ungovernored but I don't think so I don't know why I it's a Kohler Mag Magnum 12 you know I got another Cubhead 122 that's got 12, uh, 12 horse and out just sitting outside here I could put this Magnum in there but I'd like to sell it and it probably should be original so I put the bad motor in the bad tractor and run it till it drops, but I guess the thing of it is this roper is already running 12 miles an hour and I don't know what the RPMs are, but they, they don't sound really high. 
I'd say it's running around running around 3,000. The Kohler K and Magnum series run at 3,600, just below 4,000. And it's not it's not running 3,600 or 3,500 or 3,400. It must be running around 3,000, like I said. So. Speed wise, I'm still going to get ridiculous speed out of the thing without ungovernoring the Kohler 12. So I'm thinking, no. The main thing is how to get this Magnum 12 into that tractor. It's going to be a challenge. That's why I wanted to make a video of this. I don't have camera mounts in my shop like I should be doing because. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I would watch if I had a channel to watch it on. So, um, I guess start taking things apart. Seems like a pain. I only just put that hood on yesterday. No, yesterday I was working. Monday I put the hood on. So today and tomorrow I can get to work on this stuff. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to be probably working 